All right, verdict form appears to be in order. We'll let the clerk publish the verdict. In the Circuit Court of the 20th Judicial Circuit and in Forley County, Florida, criminal action, State of Florida v. Wade Wilson, case number 19 CF 568. Jury verdict form, penalty phase. We the jury find as follows as to the defendant, Wade Wilson, in this case. As to count one, first degree murder, Christine Milton. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt that Wade Wilson was previously convicted of a felony and under sentence of imprisonment or placed on community control or on felony pro probation. Yes. We the jury find unanimously that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt that Wade Wilson was previously convicted of another capital felony or of a felony involving the use of threat of violence to the person. Yes. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt that the first degree murder was especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel. Yes. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt that the first degree murder was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner without any pretense of moral or legal justification. No. If you the jury answered no to every aggravating factor listed, you have completed your deliberations. If you the jury answered yes to any aggravated, aggravating factor listed, proceed to section B. If fewer than eight jurors vote for the death penalty, your recommendation must be for a penalty of life in prison without the possibility of parole. If eight or more jurors vote for the death penalty, your re recommendation must be for the death penalty. We the jury unanimously found the state proved one or more aggravating factors. Each of us has considered whether one or more migrating circumstances exist. Each of us has weighed whether the proven aggravating factors are sufficient and whether the proven aggravating factors outweigh any proven migrating circumstances. We have further considered whether Wade Wilson should be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole or death. We the jury find by a vote of nine to three that Wade Wilson should be sentenced to death. As to count four, first degree murder, Diane Ruiz. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of aggravating factors. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt that Wade Wilson was previously convicted of a felony and under sentence of imprisonment or placed on community control or on felony probation. Yes. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt that Wade Wilson was previously convicted of another capital felony or of a felony involving the use of threat of violence to the person. Yes. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt that the first degree murder was especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel. Yes. We the jury unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt that the first degree murder was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated murder manner without any pretense of moral or legal justification. Yes. If fewer than eight jurors vote for the death penalty, your recommendation must be for a penalty of life in prison without the possibility of parole. If eight or more jurors vote for the death penalty, your recommendation must be for the death penalty. 
we the jury unanimously found the state proved one or more aggravating factors. Each of us has considered whether one or more mitigating circumstances exist. Each of us has weighed whether the proven aggravating factors are sufficient and whether the proven aggravating factors outweigh any proven mitigating circumstances. We have further considered whether Wade Wilson should be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole or death. We the jury find by a vote of 10 to 2 that Wade Wilson should be sentenced to death. Dated this 25th day of June 2024 in Lee County, Florida, 4 person 234. Uh, does anybody uh, want the jurors to be pulled? Yes, please. Okay. Members of the jury, we're going to ask each of you about the jury's decisions that you have just heard. And I'm going to go juror by juror by number. So, juror, do you, juror 97, agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Juror 97. Okay. Do you agree that the decisions read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes. Juror 234, do you agree that decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes, Your Honor. Juror number three, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect, <laughs> accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes. Juror 205, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes. Juror 101, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes. Juror 215, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Juror 87, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes. Juror 362, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes. Juror 136, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes. Juror 193, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Juror 315, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes. Juror 309, do you agree that the decisions as read by the clerk accurately reflect what the jury decided? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank you for your time and consideration of this case. I also wish to advise you of some very special privileges enjoyed by jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room except by court order. For many centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that a jury's deliberations, discussions, and votes should remain their private affair as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about the jury's work. Although, although you are at liberty to speak with anyone about your deliberations, you are also at liberty to refuse to speak to anyone. A request to discuss either your verdict or your deliberations may come from those who are simply curious, from those who might seek to find fault with you, from the media, from the attorneys, or elsewhere. It will be up to you to decide whether to preserve your privacy as a juror. With that, we thank you again for your service. Gather your belongings. Make sure you don't leave anything in the jury room, and the bailiff will escort you out. You are discharged. All right. Please be seated. All right. What says the state in regards to sentencing? I know we have to have a Spencer hearing. Yes, and, and you need to go ahead and set it up for a Spencer hearing. We also need to have a precinct investigation. Uh, okay. On the, uh, All right. Thinking 30, 30, 45 days 
Are the parties available on July 22nd? July 22nd? Yes, sir. No, sir. Okay. I'll be coming, I'll be flying about, back from okay. Wisconsin. Okay. How about July 29th? I'm supposed to start a second degree murder trial in Arcadia on the 29th. How about on July 23rd? That works. That works for this case. 9 a.m. So I will order a pre-sentence investigation report and have the Department of Corrections uh, prepare that. And then we'll set uh, sentencing and Spencer hearing. I want the Spencer hearing at nine and the sentencing at one. That's fine. Yeah. We can do that. Start in the morning and then um, recess until the afternoon. So I'll give you all day on Tuesday, July twenty third, beginning at nine a.m. Mr. Wilson, I believe he's already been fingerprinted, but I may need to get fingerprinted again and remanded, or does he need to get fingerprinted? For him? Okay. Then he'll just be remanded. He'll be held without bond until July 23rd. What's well, a sentencing and Spencer hearing on July 23rd, beginning at 9 a.m. Any other issues that the court needs to address? No, sir. All right. Thank you. Then we'll be adjourned.